To prevent infections from spreading, it is a protocol to don the full PPE when we attend to suspected cases in the ICU. However, wearing the PPE for 6 to 8 hours can get uncomfortable. The places we are allowed to go while in PPE are limited as well. Many had to forego the Chinese New Year celebrations with family and friends due to extended work hours to reinforce department processes and ensure logistics such as instituting contact tracing procedures, setting up the fever clinic and the triage stations to receive patients. Working on the front line of healthcare, we have to be alert to protect ourselves in order to protect our family and our patients from potential exposures. And like everybody else, the whole situation made us worry about the safety of our family. As healthcare workers, we risk being infected on the job, which puts our family at risk too. Sometimes we end work rather late because we needed to help out with one another in shifts that experience a higher volume of patients, as well as settle administrative duties before ending shifts. Many of us at Refers sacrifice family time and put aside our routine duties to work as a team to manage the COVID-19 situation together. One instance was when we strive within a short time frame to ensure that the pneumonia ward in the hospital is ready to nurse and care for our patients who are in need. Though we are entitled to an hour break, we never had the time to fully utilise it most of the time during this period. Being in full PPE and dealing with people at the fever area is not easy because we have been sweating inside the PPE. Doing things like drinking water and going for toilet breaks are difficult because removing and putting on a PPE is time consuming. Being a non-medical staff, I play my part by being in a rotational duty as a frontline screener. Loss of time with the family, disruption of personal schedules and social life are some of the sacrifices that we make. We had food sponsors reaching out to help us with our meals, which really saved our time from queuing up for food. I also feel touched when the hawkers give me the priority, especially when I'm in uniform, as they know that time is precious for us. Recently, we also received some health supplements from a sponsor, which gives me the motivation to carry on. I'm thankful for the public that they actually provide us free food and free drinks to motivate us to work during times like this. I'm truly grateful to all patients, colleagues and members of the public who appreciate our efforts. Each of us contribute our efforts in many ways and it is encouraging when our efforts are being recognised. It is heartwarming to know that our efforts and sacrifices are appreciated. I appreciate the public for acknowledging our efforts and sacrifices in combating the virus. Though this may be a trying time, their unexpected kindness and understanding inspire us to shoulder on and do our best. We are just doing our jobs, but the acknowledgement makes it totally worth it. I'm sure we will totally get through this together. Together, we can overcome this trying time as a nation.